And all man cavers, we are back with our bonza. And what are we doing with the bonza today? We're putting tread plate back in, bolting the gearbox back down, tensioning the chain. We're going to fill the gearbox back up with oil because I bet you guys have totally forgot when I done the gearbox, I drained the oil out. And yes, I have made an engine plate up as well, but that's in the process of drying. So that won't be going on today. So let's get the rest of this stuff done. Ah, roll them credits. Why do I bend down so low? Should've just lifted the camera up. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. So, man cavers, we are back. We need to get our gearbox bolted back in. Because at the minute, as you know, she's sloppy. Let me get this clutch cable out away for the minute, because we don't want that on there for the minute. That's just going to get right in our way. So if I disconnect all that, there we go. That's out of our way for a second. We can now see how we get some tension on this chain. And just tighten up these nuts. There we go. Right. I need to struggle now. And do this bottom one. I think I'm going to have to get a socket on that bottom one. Let me get a socket. Alright, let's get this bottom one. I'll just nip this top one up with a socket. You ain't going to see what I'm doing here, are you? But there you go. I'm just going to tighten this bottom gearbox ball up and then we can be getting some oil in this thing. There we go. This could take a minute or two because we've got to wind in about six threads and I don't have the right size spanner so I'm using an imperial adjustable. <laughs> There we go, we got the spring washers on here. She's going on. Then we need to get that bung out and fill this with gear oil. And then we'll offer everything into place and see what she looks like. Say, so if my engine cover, if the paint on that was dry, we could get the engine on today, but that'll probably be a job for the next video. We'll try and get the engine on. Well, we've got a little bit to be getting on today, guys. We've got a little bit to be doing. So that's not the end of the world. All right, this is now starting to tighten. There we go. I know you guys don't like adjustables, but when you're on big stuff like this, it really doesn't matter if you're using an adjustable. You know what I mean? That's a bit more delicate when you're working on something which is a little bit more intricate, but when you're working on stuff that's like three quarter inch. There we go. An adjustable will work fine. Right, so that's our gearbox in there nice and tight. I think now we can be getting this gear oil in, which is a case of getting this out. That's a case of getting this thing out. There we go. I don't think I even put it in there that tight, so. No, she's out. Now I assume with this we fill this up to the top, guys. Where's my little gear oil? With my little pump lock. Here we go. This is posh, isn't it? Man has gone all technical. Yeah, man case gone all technical with a little oil pump lock. There we go. Let's get some... What are we putting in here? There we go. 90. 
Trust me, it'll be fine. Whoa! Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm pumping her in too quick. There we go. Perfect. I think we've got about seven or eight pumps in there. Nine pumps. Whoa. Ten pumps. Eleven pumps. Still can't see no oil coming. Ah, 12 pumps, 13 pumps, 14 pumps, there we go, I think we're just about, ah, I can now see it coming up the threads. There we go. There we go, guys. We are now we are now Right up the threads. Well, let's give her another pump because I've turned the gearbox over. Oh, she's taken another one. There you go. So we're just turning that gearbox over. overfill this damn thing that's got to be enough there's plenty in there guys right let's get our drain bung back in and we can call this gearbox done and oiled can't we we can say this is done and oiled there we are Right, this is the catch for our kickstart. We want to hook this back in at spring, which is here. There we go, that's hooked back in the spring. Now I think we can see about getting the kickstart back in. Now, if my memory serves correct, that comes up through here and goes in here. There we go. Ah, oh, that's it. We're in neutral now, I say. Let's put a bit of drag on that. That's fine. By the time we get the spring back on there, that'll be good. We can't get the spring on until the engine cover is on. Can't get the engine cover on until the engine's in. So, got to find a bolt to go in there as well. I'm going to replace that. Will one of these? Yeah, one of these will do it. Look, there we go. One of them M8s will do it. Right, let's get the floor pan in. That's going to look really good now. She'll start to come back together. Once we get all the idly diddly bits and pieces in there. 
we'll start to see what looks like a half complete bonza truck. Oh. Right. Are you ready guys? Let's get this. Let's get this foot plate back in. All painted both sides, look. There we go. Ah. Our clutch pedal, yep, does come up through here. That's brilliant. There we go. Now we've got the clutch cable sorted. Right, let's be getting this thing bolted back in. Of course, this can now be bolted in. I'm sure of it. All right, let's drop some bolts back in here. Would you believe M8s are ah, two bloody big ones? Would you believe that? We want M6s. Well, we're going to pretend they're back in because I don't have M6s. Not with me. They're all down the workshop. But we've got that laid in place. Let's get our pedals back on now. And see what they look like. I say, you know you're on the final stretch when you're doing things like putting pedals back on. That's how you know you're doing all right. Come on. There we go. I need a bit of a tighten up with a spanner. There we go. I obviously didn't wire brush this one up quite good enough. There we are, guys. Look at that. Isn't this the nuts? Let's get this brake one tightened up. Not that it really matters. I mean, it's a it's a brake pedal. You don't want it too low. There we are. Oh yeah, she's going on that retreat. Yeah. All right, that's that one down. Was we on the lock nut then? Yep. There we go. And do this lock nut up. There we go. Do the lock nut up on this side. There we are. Right. We have our pedals in. Foot plate in, just need to bolt him down. Gearbox on and tighten. Kick start on. Yeah, that's pretty damn good going, isn't it? That is pretty good going. She is getting all the further done, guys. Tell you what, we can do. We can put a bit of chain lube on that chain, can't we? So I would say this chain here could definitely do with some lube. We can't get our new chain on yet for the engine because, frankly, we're not ready for it yet. There you go. So once the engine's on,
once the engine's on we can get the chain on to the engine fuel tank you know this isn't far off being a driving machine no nope, that really isn't oh I need to make a cover up for the engine don't I I need a cover to cover up this fan on our engine here because I don't want to be jamming my foot in this flywheel because this engine's going to be coming out to sort of here and I don't want to be jamming my foot into that fan do I so I think what we need to do is we need to get something to go over here and I think I have just the idea but we'll keep that to ourselves for the minute excellent so there's the little bonzer update we can really be tightening these back wheels up I think because I think today here I do have the correct size sockets needed to do these up I do indeed so let's get these Bonzo wheel nuts tightened. Well, they are quite a big socket. I mean, they were 5 8 BSF and they use a one inch socket. So we can be getting these. Oh, it's alright, these ones are hand tight, no, they're not. So we can be getting these in. Ah. So, guys, the little wheel horse. Thank you very much for all your comments and input on that. I am listening to every single one of you. And I think last night I did reply to all the comments. If I missed your comment, I do apologise. Even people that comment twice, you know who you are. <laughs> Post the same comment twice. So, yes... What do, you, what do you guys reckon? I think we do need to go for, like I was saying, that patina look on that wheel horse. Sealing what's there. Now somebody was worried about, I think that was White Sapphire, she was concerned that the rust would stay active under the clear coat and creep. Possibly might, but I think if we dried it enough, and I maybe put a little bit of rust prevention on there, that would stop all that. Or well, we'd like to think so, wouldn't we? But either way, we will get that thing sealed up. So that's all done. We've got to lift this bed up on here, haven't we, as well? Yeah, we've got to lift the damn bed up. Come on, get on. Hey. There, there we are. That's perfect. Hey. So that is our wheels on. The bonds are starting to look good. Isn't it? It's starting to look good. Oh, it is indeed. It is indeed. Tell you what, for shits and giggles, shall we sit the engine back in its place? Obviously, it's not on a, not on an engine plate, but I think I can balance it in there where it needs to go. And then we'll just put the cover back on and see what it looks like. Let's give that a go. It needs to go somewhere about there. You know, I've put that on there pretty spot on. I nearly lined up with a sprocket. Right, now let's see if all them clearance issues are gone with our engine cover. Now I'll put that over in the front. Look at that. Look at that. All right, our holes are lined up with the engine cover in the body. There we go. That's where she's going to be, guys. Look at that! Ah, we have a bonza. And wait a minute. 
And wait, look what else we got. Man cave made a seat. Look, there we are. Do you know, shall I sit on it? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I sit on this thing so you can see what it looks like? Man and machine. My first time mounting the bonza. Oh. oh, I like driving my bonza. Don't I look good up here? Isn't this good? Get us surprisingly comfortable. We're going to have our ignition control here. We're going to have our fuel tank on the side here. Oh, we have lots to be doing. Tell you what we need to do. Extend the gear stick. I nearly forgot that. Let me show you exactly what I mean. We need to extend the damn gear stick. Because it's broken. I'm going to have to go and get that. And show you what I mean. Oh, doesn't she look good? Right, guys, we've got you now around this side. Zoom in on this gear stick. Now, let me put this gear stick. Here it is. This goes down to the gearbox, this end. This end sits up through here. Look what the problem is. Now, let me take my seat out. There we go. Now then. I take all the necessary uh, springs and washers out so I can just use the nut. All right, let me see. Am I putting this in the right way? Yes, I am. There we go. And there we go. Right, can you see the problem here? We can adjust that on the gearbox, that's not a problem, we can unwind the end. That's not long enough, guys, look. It isn't coming through the thing, it's been snapped off. So we need to extend this, because this should be, looking at Bonsus, that should be sticking out there about four inches. So we need to extend that and find a nice knob for it. Right, I wanted a period knob. Because you can't be a period knob. Ben, there's a joke in there somewhere, I know there is. Right. So we put all this back on. I think what we've got to do is, I don't want my join in here, because this is dead flush with where this is. So I think we need to cut this back to probably here, and weld another one on there. Now I have a plan. Walk with me. We will go over. Oh my God, look at the water lying around here. We had some rain last night and everything is flooded. How am I meant to get to where my camper is with this flood water here? Can't walk around that end because that's around for the burn pile. I can't get through here because there's like five inches of water. There's more water lay here. So I think, oh, oh there's a bit of water here. Yeah, wet look. All right, we're gonna come round here at the front of my camper, over to the old bath water atom out of the other truck. Remember this other auto truck we're doing? Where we got to put a Barford atom in the front? Do you remember this one? The old Barford atom, which is totally knackered. Look what I found. A small round knob with a knob on. Now I'm thinking, take this off here. Pull this pin out, push this off. Get this knob out of here. Take this arrangement off here. Probably cut it off. Cut this bend off at the bottom and weld this onto our other gear knob. And hopefully this will actually unscrew so we can then get it on the machine. So I'm going to mess around taking this off, seeing if I can get this knob off, and then we'll weld it on the other piece. Back in a minute. Right, man, cavers, what I have done 
I've got the gear knob off the bonzer, off the old, um, old bar forward atom. I've cut the hook off the bottom, I've cut the nub off the end of the original bonzer gear stick here, and I'm going to weld these together. So I've ground a flat on here, and that's now welded. We're now going to weld this back on here together, and hopefully that'll hold, and our join will be underneath, because it'll come through the gear stick about, it'll come through that gator about here, through the gate. So our weld is going to be all underneath, so I ain't going to snag up. I do, will have to then cut this nub off, because that is actually part of this thing. But I don't know, I'm not worried about it, I just want to get it welded at the minute. So, let's get an earth on here. There we go. We'll get an earth on there. Mind your eyes, guys. As we got a weld of this broken. There we go. Ready? Mind your eyes. Come on. I think my meat wire has gone bloody rusty, you know. Come on, girl. I bet that's what it is, you know. I bet this meat wire's going rusty. So, guys, after a bit of messing around and freeing off my wire, let's get this welded. Come on. I can hopefully get these mole grips off here in a minute. I think that'll have held it enough. There we go. Let's get this welded in. Get him over. Get a bit on this end. this side here there we are guys I think we've got a bit of got a bit of pigeon shit along there now that may not be the neatest but I think that's there well we're out of the shed and there we are our handle is welded on you know what they say a grinder and paint makes the welder I ain't there's never a truer word rough and strong but she's on so there we are, man cavers. That's going to be it for today. We have the Bonzer looking much, much better. 
but the old dark, the old night time is starting to set in. So I think I need to clear all my gear away, because I haven't got any electricity down here. Yes, I think we need to clear the gear away, bung a sheet over this. That looks all right, doesn't it? That engine coming through, though, I'm quite pleased. I actually went for that method, actually. I mean, that's pretty much lined up with that inner sprocket. Yeah, I want to come back in a little bit. We are out a bit, but that's all how much it's sticking out. I mean, and that's a bit too much. That does need to go in a tiny bit. But there you go. That is it, guys. Bonzer had a bit more done. She's looking all right, isn't she? Let me get my rough and strong seat back in here. I say this is just this old seat I knocked up out of an old bit of plywood and some scrap material one evening so there you go there we are guys there is the bonza with her seat box right like and subscribe we will see you guys next time bye bye for now i can't believe all this water land about here bye bye for now so it's bye bye for me and it's bye bye from bobby bonza Aha!